girl. I ain't cooking for nobody. I ain't cooking for nobody. 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 Now we are ready. Good morning. Good evening. Whatever time you may be watching. Hey, it's your girl Ruby Seas. I'm so glad that you decided to and join me on my wacky journey as a mother, as a wife, as a crazy busy body and random ranter. And today, that's exactly what we're doing. I'm gonna get something off my chest. The other day, I was on my way home, minding my own bizwack. So me and my friend were walking, no, English. My friend and I were walking on the way home from a really lovely event and we were just talking and she happened to ask me aren't, aren't you rushing home because you have to cook for your husband i was like eh? girl i ain't cooking for nobody if i get home and i've been out all day and there's no food that ah, well well hell, sorry so we're both laughing and, and giggling about it and then she was like excuse me and i was like oh, is she talking to me i had to kind of check myself and then she was like oh, that bubble over there that guy was giving us some funny he was giving you some funny look so she, so she went excuse me is there a problem look at her she can't cook as she said she wants to get married bruv bruv so i would like all these things were going through my mind that hold on hello i've been married eight years my husband has not died it's not been on BBC News that oh guy, there's a guy who's died from starvation because his wife wouldn't cook him a bono soup. Like I just didn't understand what his issue was. In that brief moment, I, yeah, I was gonna do something that was gonna get me arrested. But I realized I'm five foot five and way nothing so I, I respected myself and the people that I was with but the truth of the matter is he just was running his mouth the fact that I cook or don't cook is that what defines me as a woman is that what defines me as a wife so I don't cook which is a lie I actually do cook it's just that it's not my favorite thing to do I don't enjoy cooking and every time I say it it's like a <gasps> like a massive cardinal sin and I just don't understand it I don't like cooking I don't like it I don't enjoy it the idea and I have to cut onions then I'm gonna cry and then I have to fry meat and then I'm gonna be sweating my clothes are gonna be stinking I'm gonna have to open up the window because all the throat the smells going down my throat and then the pepper and then, I, like it's an ordeal to me. I'd much rather iron about a million shirts. And the fact of the matter is, I have been blessed by a husband who is not that fussy about food either. So he's quite content. So who are you, Mr. Man walking down with bald head and a hairline receding, to tell me that, oh, she was to get married? I've been married for eight years and it's not been a problem. But every social setting that I go to where I utter these three words, I don't like, no, sorry, four words, I don't like cooking, people look at me as if I'm insane. And it upsets me because at the end of the day, I just don't get it. So I don't like, some people don't like cleaning. Some people, some women don't like cleaning. Some women don't like ironing. Some women don't like, <laughs> some women always have a headache. <laughs> Hey, so the truth of the matter is that my ability to cook or not cook is got none. It's none of your business. One and two, it doesn't define me as a wife. I'm sorry, and I know that there might be some people who are watching it and be like, ah, well, if you don't cook, eh, you know, your husband will just go outside to eat, and then you won't be able to keep your husband. I'm, I'm expected today, in today's age, to go out to work, to look after the children, to keep a clean house, to make sure that the children have the right clothes on the right day for the right in need day or fundraising event or go to the right play day. I'm supposed to research the right school. I'm supposed to teach them. I'm supposed to pray with them. And then I'm supposed to cook as well. I can't do everything. There's like only so many hands I got. So if cooking is somehow someone in some wonderful land wants to do it for me great i don't understand when they start saying that women have to cook for their husbands because they have got this fear that if you don't cook he'll go and eat somewhere else 
I don't really think men cheat because I did not cook. I, I, I don't think that would be the sole reason. Yes, yeah, she might use food to entice him, but there must be other reasons. Maybe because you shut up shop or you always have headache. Maybe. Or maybe because your mouth just doesn't stop talking and he's tired of your nagging. There's lots of different reasons why a man might cheat. I'm not entirely convinced that that's the case. Now, if my husband was a very particular man about food and always wanted a fresh meal, etc., etc., then of course I would take it upon myself to make sure that I cook. But my husband's not that way. So I don't really think anybody has a right to comment on my ability to cook or not cook or enforce it on single women because you don't, you're catering to that particular man now you know some people some men are particular about food some men are particular about cleansiness so they don't care so much about whether you are a gourmet chef and you know can't you are uh, uh, Joanna Ol um, no I was trying to Nigerianize Jamie Oliver and it wasn't it wasn't working if you have a suggestion please comment below but yeah I'm not Jamie Oliver in the kitchen but he might particularly want someone who is very business orientated because he needs someone who's going to be able to walk, walk alongside him in his business. You are tailoring yourself, like my last video, link up there, um, you're tailoring yourself to your husband and it's not every husband who wants a gourmet meal 24-7. There's other things that we need to prioritise. It might be his love language, acts of service, again, check the link, but it might be his love language that you know he is a words of affirmation person so what if you cook all these gourmet meals which are actually acts of service and you know you're trying to show your love and admiration for your husband through this cooking and really he wants you to say honey you're amazing you've done great so what what difference does it make you need to tailor yourself to your own husband and people need to stop poknozing in other people's business if i do not add maggie to my stew it's not the end of the world my husband eats it and he is not skinny and he is not dying so mind your own business i just wanted to get that off my chest it was actually burning me inside rant is over comment below share um talk about it invite other people to join this wacky journey that you're seeing me on and hopefully i'll catch you in my next video take care and remember kick fear to the rear and get creative today